Good morning. Who's Amy? Hello. <laughs> We've been doing some clearing here at the front of the house. Just clearing all the shrub. And we found loads and loads of coal ash and rubbish. Gems. Okay, Gem's going down with a, a machete and a saw <laughs> to do some clearing. Seems to be the theme at the moment this winter is clearing. We've still got the vent down here which we're not quite sure what that's about so as I uncover uh, I'll try and work out what, what that is. It's obviously something to do with our cesspit but we're not quite sure why it's here when our cesspit is around the back of the house. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Both vehicles are kaput at the moment. Cars uh, got something wrong with the springs, the suspension springs, and it makes a horrendous noise every time you go around a corner. And the van, um, it's got a hole in the power steering fluid container so when you put power steering fluid in it just runs straight out the bottom and so we are vehicleless at the moment well I say vehicleless you can just about drive the car if you're really careful um, so that's what we've been doing until the mechanics uh, open again hopefully tomorrow <coughs> so I'll just give you a closer look down here so like I say this is all coal ash and we have got tons and tons of cold ash. If anyone <clears throat> has any any advice on how to handle cold ash, any uses uh, that we could put it to, please, please let me know. Because um, we don't want to just send it off to landfill because uh, it's just it's not solving a problem is it it's just moving a problem waste from one place to another place but at the same time we can't have it just here uh, piling up so <clears throat> if anybody has any knowledge on coal ash you know any possible uses um, yeah any ways to dispose of it safely and natural as naturally as possible then that would be great just let me know so we've got a lot more clearing to do a lot of this all of the brown stuff you can see is all um dead um uh, this stuff the honeysuckle stuff um which has died partly over time but partly because of the spraying that happened here <coughs> And see the wall that we're uncovering is really beautiful. I don't, it doesn't come out on camera that well, but in real life it's really beautiful. And there's a couple of mysterious tunnels. Well, you can see it's all gorgeously cut slate. There's some bags of rubbish, as you can see. Loads of glass bottles, lots of whiskey bottles. And, um, oh, just one second. Yes, Emmy. I'm down here. Okay, you go then. Yes. Um, okay, so, and there's lots and lots of decaying wood, which um, has got all kinds of interesting fungi growing on it. Sorry, one second. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, that's right. Yes, and then we'll meet in the middle. Um, right, so yes, lots of kind of decomposing wood. Quite a lot of it's got plastic attached to it, so it's possibly from polytunnels or something like that. Um, it's hard to know. Um, but some of it I'm going to pull out and burn. Some of it I'm going to leave to rot because it has got some quite interesting fungi growing on it. <coughs> lots of brambles. We have got so many brambles that if I pull out a handful... I don't think the birds will notice too much. So yeah, just a short little five minute video just to update you on that really. Um, we've been painting the kitchen as well, but I'll do a separate video on that so you can see the inside of the kitchen. 
Oh, I will just show you. Um, we went to a really great tree nursery. I would totally recommend. It's in Newport in Pembrokeshire called Tea Horse Trees. Fantastic place. Really lovely lady as well. Um, we got this lovely apple tree for Emmy. So our idea is that we're going to plant an orchard. Very likely down there. That's where our orchard's going to be. And it's going to be Emmy's orchard full of fruit trees. And it will be a place where she can learn how to look after her trees. And she can learn how to prune, um, how to care for them, how to mulch them. And then we'll harvest from them and then use the produce. Um, she's really interested in in that. So <coughs> we wanted to provide a forum for her to learn that kind of thing. Sorry, excuse me once again. Yes. Okay. I have to go and get them a rake in a minute. <laughs> so I'll just finish off and then I'll go and get them the rake. Um, and this is a ribes, which is a flowering currant, not edible to humans, but edible for the birds. Um, and the flowers apparently are just fantastic for bees and insects. So I'm really looking forward to getting that into the land and hopefully taking some cuttings. So, yes, that's an update out here for now. I best go and get that rake and I'll do an update later on the kitchen. Hope you all have a lovely Sunday. Bye.